This is Big 2 News at 10. If our region has over 50% occupancy of all the hospitals in that area that's COVID-related disease, then, and, and that continues for seven consecutive days, then you go back to 50%. We crossed that threshold today. West Texas businesses are now required by the state to implement capacity restrictions. Good evening, I'm Katie Orth. That means some big changes are in store for our local businesses. Big Two's Marco Ramirez joins us live to break it all down. Marco, what can residents expect now? Good evening, Katie. Now that COVID-19 hospital rates across the basin are now above 15%, this means local businesses will have to roll back their capacity rates again. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services, counties in the Permian Basin are now listed as a trauma service area that has been at 50% COVID hospital capacity for seven days. Following Governor Abbott's GA32 executive order issued back in October, any areas that fall under this list must reduce capacity at local businesses back to 50%. We want to see a downward trend in this. We want to see the behaviors that will support a reduction in the disease in the community so that we can get back to some sense of normalcy if you can have that with you know a, a reasonable number of patients coming into the hospital that we can manage more effectively. Today Midland County announcing all local businesses including restaurants, retail stores and office buildings will be required to return to 50 percent capacity. Local bars will also be forced to shut down. This order will go into effect after midnight on November 24th. Andrews County is also rolling back local business capacities. Andrews Mayor Flora Braley making the announcement on Facebook Live. As mayor, I'm immediately prohibiting any outdoor gatherings in excess of 10 people within the city limits until further notice. Pecos and Howard counties following suit with this executive order as well by reducing capacities at 50% beginning at midnight. Now, in order for these restrictions to be lifted, our area will need to have COVID hospitalization rates at 15% or below for seven days. Now, Ector County has not announced capacity restrictions at this time. A press conference is scheduled for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, and you can count on us to be there. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Mark Ramirez, Big 2 News.